Welcome to the channel everyone, this is King Joshua and if you've been here before, thank you guys, thank you for coming back to my channel and if you've not been here before, thank you for clicking on this video to my channel. So first of all, I'm going to apologize, this is not going to be a live match, I'm going to be showing you guys my replay because um, actually I wanted to play 2v2 and I just copied the deck from um, TV Royale and I'm like, okay, let me just jump out to 2v2 but suddenly I mistakenly clicked on battle, which is ladder, 1v1, so it's like... Oh god, I made a huge mistake. But still, I'm going in with Hog Rider, Mini Pecker, Magic Atcher, Log, which are so underleveled. But still, let's see how we can be able to get some crazy wins. So obviously, I got some crazy wins, but though I still had a loss of it, I think three or two losses. But still, I had some crazy wins using this deck versus Max Player. Okay, the first match here, I'm playing against um, Thunder Rats. Yeah, he is a Max Level 13 car, er, car player. With mast og and all troops max then honestly when i clicked on this on battle which is this first match i was like oh no 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 this is messed up but still let's let's see how how it ends so i'm just gonna be commenting commentating like um i'm playing live so here comes prince on the left side of the lane and same prince gives me the choose like okay he's gonna obviously have zap or uh, okay let's see and he jumps all rather on the right side of the lane alongside with Bats, but Mini Pecker will take out the Arc Rider and Magic Asher will finish off the Bats, which is easy for me. Now I'm thinking of going with Arc Rider push alongside with the Magic Asher, but still, okay, let's see. Magic Asher was not able to take out the Fire Spirit in one shot. That's that's not this, that's not encouraging. So Magic Asher will connect to the tour, Arc Rider will get one hit on the tour, and that is a really nice advantage for me. Later, did he know that I am not a pro player using Arc 2.8, but still, I'm able to do some crazy things because I watch um, B Ride and it's good with that deck. Also, I watch on um, Tag and uh, yeah, the YouTube. So, it comes off with Arc Rider one more time. Mini Packer will take one or two hits on the Arc Rider, but Arc Rider is able to drop one hit on my toe, which is sad. My, Rider, my Mini Packer is at level 11, which will not do enough damage on cards like Arc Rider, Giant, um, Gold, and stuff like that. So, Goblin again, counter of the Arc Rider. I'm starting off with Nines Ice Golem on this side of the lane, and he goes with the Prince push. I dropped bad first because I wanted to take out my bats, so my skeleton team will be able to distract the Prince from getting that full hit. Oh, oops, he got one hit, no problem. I'm gonna go with Arc Rider, Magic Crusher, and Ice Golem. Hopefully, this turns out right. So he's gonna misplace his minor, my uh, Pecker, Mini Pecker, but still, my bats will be able to counter off the Mini Pecker. Nice, nice, nice. I was hoping Magic Asher will connect to this well, but still, our is gonna get again getting a decent hit on the tour. So, apparently, this is GG for me. So, I'm just gonna probably fast forward from this point on, double the speed up because from here on, I just started defending because I know I have Earthquake. I haven't, I've not even used my Earthquake, but I know I had Earthquake and I had um, Magic Asher Hog Rider log to take off that tour, which would be very easy for me. So, just had kind of everything is gonna do. Mini Packer. Magic Archer once more and that was an insane speed recycle, yeah. So this should be GG, should be right this brand up in 15 seconds, okay? So minor oh, sorry, uh mini packer. And I just added log guitar and that was just game over. So first match wrapped up easily. And I say how nice and amazing this deck turned out to be. Can you realize I faced it, I was facing up on it using Prince uh Mini Packer maxed Prince and Mini Packer. Which is really hard to cancer for my hard rider, but still I was able to do some crazy stuff and some amazing gameplay. So let's jump straight off into our second match. Now I'm gonna go off to the replay one more time. I'm gonna show you guys one crazy amazing replay I had here. So let's go, let's go. Okay. Yeah, I lost the game. Okay, wait, chill, chill, chill. And yeah, this is it against this Chinese guy. Yeah. Chill is gonna load up in a bit. Yeah, he's using an uh, Arc Rider deck one more time, but this time it's an Arc Rider Lightning deck, so crazy. My Magic Atcher is gonna go down more often. Yeah, actually, on my first, I think, first deployment, he took off my Magic Atcher. Let's see how it works out. So, I gave him the thumbs up and drop my Skeletons. Okay, yes, yeah, start off. With, I like doing that a lot, just drop off the Skeletons. It's really, um, I don't know, positive for me. So, it's coming off with the uh, um, minions and ordinarily you'd be thinking okay it's gonna go with an all rider or something just obsessive and it chose in lightning which is hard but still I dropped my ice gloom later I got a little hit from the minions on my top but still yeah let's go with all rider 
so I'm expecting um, okay mini peckers so I'm, I'm gonna get one hit on the tour even regardless of the fact that guards are there so I'm just gonna bats lock the guards um, mini pecker DR grader distract the other mini pecker so my mini pecker can get, get a nice decent hit and still be alive so that was really really nice play for a delivery which damages air for some reason I don't understand well that is that so we balanced here I got some decent heat on the store and he was able to get at least one hit on my toe which is equal so I want to go off with um, ice golem and all rider hopefully just want to see what he has here goes wizard okay not bad not bad but the fact that he's going to use his mini pack here is not um, how do I put it it's insane like why would you use a mini pack you're out you're actually out of elixir you should build up something there well everybody has his own place and that was absurd for me so i'm just gonna try to distract the wizard so he doesn't get one hit on my toe even though my magic catcher passes out so that is that so we're a little bit more even now because my hog rider get more hits on the toe which is nice by the way so i'm gonna go with another ice golem but this time probably behind my toe or should i just i'll grab the beauty okay, let's see what i do i'll grab beauty okay let's go let's go uh okay min minions minions so if i try chopping the magic catcher again i'm 100 percent sure it's gonna go with lightning but still he's going with hog guard i'm just gonna have to jump uh mini magic catcher rather and he used lightning but my bats were able to save my magic catchers now we got a nice push coming up i'm gonna go with um okay 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 um skeletons just to bring out the hog guard i'm just gonna go with um earthquake just so that whatever is gonna come in and one hit from the magic catcher one hit from the all rider which is really decent so magic Okay, it comes down again. I'm sure it's gonna to want to use his arrows because he already used his lightning, so I can drop my magic catcher where I just placed it. And magic catcher is actually doing some decent job and recycled two lightning fast, but still I was able to defend because I already had my bats and mini picker out. So that was a waste of for a delivery, but still gives us an advantage because it's gonna run out of elixir. So okay, okay, here's our mistake. We we're not able to recycle fast mini pack right now with at um, lightning ring but we're gonna jump some pressure and into making not use his lightning so one earthquake coming up now now nice wizard goes down and magic catcher really locked down on the tour one hits two hits three okay now it will be just two hits one log one hit from the hog rider will hog rider survive and game over gg crazy right crazy i mean increase the pressure to make sure he has no chance of using the lightning just imagine he has his lightning well it's been dry i guess but see what else a crazy matchup crazy crazy matchup against uh all grader lightning which is absurd sad like who does that so i'm gonna show you guys one last match for the day and this time we playing against okay there's one loss i had there um against a giant user uh, i don't know I have no I have no idea how I lost. I, I, I don't seem to remember. But still, I lost that match. And now I'm gonna show you guys this match against another Hog Rider user. But this time, alongside Minion Heart and Allied Barbarians. Freeze alongside. So yeah, yeah, he has freeze on this deck. Oh no, 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 no. Somebody has freeze. It's not really encouraging. I mean, Hog Rider freeze. Um, Allied Barbarians freeze. It's static. So he starts off with Minion Heart for some reason I don't know. And I'm, I was hoping for him to drop something, so I was going to drop oh, my eyes golem on time. But yeah, he dropped his hog rider on the this side of the lane, yeah, to get out easily. So he wasted his elixir, and now I have an advantage because my hog rider and my catcher is tearing down the right side of the lane, yeah. And GG for me, I took down one tour easily, that was easy, but still, uh, I'm not gonna spoil the video for you, let's just see how it goes on. So. One shot for Musketeer that would not be so significant on my part though. But still we are good here, so I'm just gonna try defending and speed this up a little bit. Okay. Um freeze, uh, like I said, freeze is gonna be really really toxic and he has zap on the other hand, which is more more painful. Now I'm just gonna use the magic catcher to wipe that out instantly. I'm gonna go with a push here. Okay, okay, nice ice golem, go hog rider. Okay. Now, okay, game, game. That's that's nice. Magic Catcher locked on the tour. I'll rather did a really nice, nice damage there. And still, we got one tour down from uh, up next. Still, we're gonna go to Mini Pack one more time. And for some reason, I keep dropping the Mini Pack when I know he has free as well. Well, let's see. Let's see. Magic Catcher coming up. Okay. Okay. Ice Golem. All Rider. 
HP I that okay it's a little bit early but still magic catch a lock down the tour it's gonna get a nice decent hit and the tour while the earthquake delays the allied background still that was nice nice so now we have allied background coming up on the left side of the lane hopefully magic catch does a really decent kill I mean okay skeleton teams thank you thank you now I have to be very very careful because if I don't Predator is gonna go with um, um, Arc Rider and freeze which you will be having to counter up because it's gonna freeze up my whatever I drop. For example, I drop Penny Park, it's gonna freeze it. I drop um, Bass, is gonna zap. I drop Skelly, it's gonna zap. That's just bad for me. So I'm gonna try to increase the pressure here. Go with all grab bats and same, same time earthquake. And let's just be an uh, ice golem that I have everyone alongside with Skelly teams and log. Okay, that should do. Now, if you notice, we did a really nice um, damage on his tour is down to 500. Plus, and that is very, very nice. So, I'm gonna go with Hogwarts one more time, and he chose Rocket. <laughs> this guy, this guy, this guy. Honestly, who does that? Who chose Rocket for an Hogwarts? Like, you literally wasting two elixirs. So, I tried pushing on here with Magic Astrid, but it was quick to use his minion uh, to redirect the uh, shots up Magic Astrid. Here comes Hogwarts and Freeze. I mean, 100% sure free so I'm gonna drop bats and um, skeletons at the same time but it's gonna zap it off well no problem I just got a decent hit and Hog Rider did a really bad thing on my toe it's gonna throw his rocket now and dope my earthquake's gonna do some damage so I just have to go fast make him not use his uh, rocket on my tour and the musketeer was close there to get in my tour it's gonna think magic is gonna die off but still magic has survived one shot and long to that's GG game over Ordinarily, everyone would think the um, the princess was going to take out the magic cache, but still, it survived, and that was amazing. So, this is the other video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you love it, you love the deck, you should try copying the deck as you do sometime. It's really crazy. Amazing thing about this video is that I did this with all cards on the left, and that is. <laughs> Comment down below.